What's up guys? So today I have here the iPhone 15 Pro and as you know um, with the Pro and Pro Max version of the iPhone 15, um, Apple gave us this new action button which replaces the meat switch. So it's basically just a button that you can press and hold for you know ring and silence and you can also customize it to do a bunch of different other actions which I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to do is go into the settings application and then scroll down until you see this new tab called action button. So you're going to press on that and here you're going to see all these different options. So um, you can do magnifier, you can create a shortcut, you could do accessibility. Um, so by default, it will be set to silent. So just for ring and silent. And you can also have it choose a focus. You can press this little icon to do sleep, personal, or work, or if you set up any other ones. You can have it to set or to open the camera when you press and hold it. And again, when you press this little icon down here, um, you can have it to set to a specific one. So you can have portrait, portrait selfie, video, selfie, or photo. And here you can have it to go in a flashlight. Um, and then for here, you can have it to start a voice memo. So what that's going to look like is just as you press and hold, it will just start a voice memo instantly. And when you press and hold, it will stop the voice memo and save it to your memos. Um, and you also have live translation, which I personally think is super cool. Um, I love the animation when you go to press and hold it. So when you just press and hold. Uh, so hello, my name is William. I have a channel called Wotech and I love everything about all types of different phones. And once you give it a few seconds, it will type it or say it back. So yeah, it's super cool. It can do live translation in real time, which I think is super cool. Um, just a great feature that Apple has added to the action button. And I think that's great that now we can just translate stuff just like super fast, um, which doesn't add too much of a language barrier. Although I'm pretty sure um, this is only works online. So let me go switch it back to live translator. Yep, translation is not available without connect connectivity. So you are going to have to have um, cellular connection or Wi-Fi to use that live translation. Um, and the magnifier, it just, you know, turns your iPhone into magnif magnifier, uh, which is pretty simple. You can use that to zoom. Um, it can actually zoom pretty far. Um, and then for shortcuts, you can just set up any shortcuts. So for example, I've seen some people use it for like a car key to unlock your Tesla. Like you just press the action button and it will do face ID and it will just unlock your Tesla. Um, for accessibility, um, you can hit choose a feature. And then you can do really any accessibility feature that is available. So you can have live captions, guided access, live speech, um, and just a whole bunch of other accessibility features. Or you could just no action, which it does nothing. So, I mean, it's pretty cool that you can just shut it off if you want to. It gives you a little bit more options for customization. Um, but keep in mind, if you do have any of these things on, you will not be able to um do ring or mute so when you press it's only available to do that certain action so just keep that in mind that you will have to limit it that to limit limit it to that simple action but if for whatever reason it is not in your control center by default what you're going to do is head into settings and scroll down until you see control center and then if you don't see it right in this top where it says con included controls I'm just going to scroll down to more controls and if you should see it in here. Um, so it, uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, where are you? Ring. Oh, okay. So apparently it can never be taken away from there. So yeah, if you don't see that, that is definitely a issue or a bug within iOS. Um, so yeah, that is how you customize the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. And keep in mind that this action button feature is only available for the Pro models of the 15 series. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. See you then.